Yo, peace was good. Welcome to another hip hop album review. This is part 245. Um, the album that I'll be reviewing this evening is uh, Das Effects with their second album, Straight Up Suicide, released in 1993. You guys should know who Das Effects are. Two members, uh, which consist of uh, Crazy Dre or Dre's, um, Crazy Dre's or Dre, and um, School, which is book spelled backwards. All right. I'm not going to get into the history of them. If you want to see that, um, check out my um, album that I did last week of their debut album, that series that, that I did last week. And I want to say thank you to everybody that um, showed me love, um, liked, um, commented. Um, let's keep that going. The more and more I get more inspired to do these uh, reviews, you know what I mean? So, right after the success of this album, of the Dead Series album, they kind of want to do a little bit, a um, little hump. Uh, for one thing, um, the record label itself, um, they kind of wanted the group um, to do the more Iggy style, like it was on the second album, on the first album. But they were, but but the group was better heads with the record label, uh, East West East West Records. They didn't want to do that because they felt it was kind of corny, to the point a lot of people was you know kind of making fun of them of that style. You know what I mean? A lot of people was like taking shots at them and things like beat nuts and. You know, people like that, and um, you know that kind of thing. They didn't want to be like the laughing stock. Um, another thing that I forgot to mention on um, the Dead Series um, in, of review that I did last week, uh, Dre, uh, or Crazy Dre's, uh, he said in, in the interview that um, he wanted, they wanted to curse on the album, but they couldn't. The record label wouldn't let them curse on the record label. On the, I mean, on the album was kind of stupid, but I get it. But you know, but I. I I'm kind of glad it did, they did it like that because I don't think the album would have had, um, I don't think it would have the legendary um, status that it does now. So it kind of, it kind of, it's kind of unique in a sense, you know what I mean? And um, another thing too, um, you know, during the making of this album, uh, they were kind of going through like sample clearance issues uh, from the first album. Um, I don't know if they couldn't clear the samples, it was just too, too expensive. So, um, the group was forced to kind of like make their own beats, like more organic, like their own sounds and stuff like that. And you hear that throughout the whole album, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, so, and then Crazy Dre, Dre said in an interview as well that this album was like his least favorite. Uh, he felt like the album was like rushed when they made the album, so, yeah, that kind of thing. So, we'll get more into it, um, as we go on throughout the review. Alright, so there's two singles of the album. The singles are Freak It and uh, Back in Effect. Those are the two singles of the album. Um, I know some of y'all might say Caught in the Caught in the Act, but that was like more of the primo remix and that was like more like um like an underground single, you know what I mean? That kind of thing. But um yeah, so those are the two singles. So yeah, pretty dope. I like the way this looks, pretty dope. It's like they're looking like um, from the, on, you know, looking down in the manhole, and you just see you and shit like that. It's pretty cool. That's pretty dope. Now you got a uh, scoop right here, you know, blowing out smoke from a blunt. And you got Dre's right there, cloud of smoke. Pretty cool. All right. And then that's what the CD looks like. Pretty cool. And you got pick right here. Pretty cool. I kept the sticker, yeah, I got it used. Um, I kept it for years because I was scared of taking it out and like actually ripping the page. So I was like, I was like, let me just leave it alone. So, cause I've had that done before. So it kind of pissed me off, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I didn't want to keep that. I didn't want to do that. Then you got, you know, the shout outs, you know, and you got the credits and things like that. Then you got the shout outs from the group. You got Dre right here, you got Scoop right here. All right. Alright, so you guys know how I get down. I'm going to go through some of the tracks like I usually do. Alright. Alright. First track is the intro. Uh, it's just an instrumental from a movie. Um, it, the, the instrumental sounds like something that would have been like on like a, um, like those old school monster movies like from the 50s and 60s. You know what I mean? It just has that feel to it. Um, so nothing too crazy. Uh, track two, Underground Rapper. Love that beat. Love the song. One of my favorite track, um, songs of the album. Um, dope way to start the album. Um, 
I like the line by school when he says, in LA, I just, I hit the chronic. I'm super like the Sonics. I'll jab you with the left and swing you, swing a hook without the phonics. I love that. Another line when he says, yo, I be kicking it to the optic lens, flipping when I'm knocking skins, a nigga who be clocking ends. So next I guess I'll rock and bends. Woo, killed that. So that, that right there, you can tell them niggas like, you know, they really... Um, step the pen game up. You could definitely tell just like the just yo, it's just so dope, man. I, I love that. So that's track two, Underground Rapper. Um, track three, um, give me that mic, give me that microphone. Um, dope, dope shit right there. Um, dope track. Um, I like the line uh, by school when he says, So save the stutter. I'm not the baby bubble on the level. I cruise the rough, uh, rough neck. Hard rocks and fruity pebbles. Woo! Oh, that fucking dope. That's track three. Track four, check it out. Fucking love that song. Um, definitely one of my favorite tracks. Um, it fucking Dre, he caught a body with this shit right here. I like the line when he says, I snatch his niggas when I snatch niggas titles when I catch niggas in the dark. I spark at I spark at them like I was matches. I trigger quicker, kick a verse with no distortion. I suggest MCs proceed with some caution. Love that. School when he said, just like my name was Joe DiMaggio, and he- <clears throat> and held Dre, and held, held Dre, my 12 gauge spit shells like pistachios. Ooh, kill that. Love that. So that's track four. Check it out. Pretty dope. Um, track five is the interlude. Just like, um, this is a skit of, you know, just people just going through, like, somebody, like, changing the channel from a radio station and changing the radio stations from a radio, that kind of thing. Car radio, nothing too crazy. Um, track six, Freak It. Um, that was the first single of the album. It's a cool track. Not one of my favorite songs of the album. It's cool. It's all right. Um, not my crazy, not my go-to song, but it's all right. It's cool. The beat is cool, but, you know, nothing too, like... Lyric-wise, it wasn't really too memorable, you know what I mean? Like, the video, you see the video, they're, like, inside a cave, and they're just rapping, like, that kind of thing. You know, so you can tell that they had, like, a little bit more of a budget and that kind of thing, so... Um, so that was Freak It. Track 7, Rappers. Excuse me. Um, Rappers, um... Dope track. Uh, I like the line by Scoop when he says, Hello there, I didn't go nowhere. What up with the static, G? I be damaging niggas like from them creeps that's in your cavity. Woo! Killed that. That shit was dope. Um, so that was track seven, Rappers. Um, and then uh, track eight, uh, Interview. It was just a skit of them having an interview with somebody. Uh, just pretty much talking about how um, cats be like biting their style with the iggity style. But, you know, instead of get them getting mad about it, they take it as a compliment. You know, just pretty much trying to just, um, you know, in a nutshell, you know, that's pretty much the basis of that. All right. So that was track eight. Track nine. Fucking love this song. Um, Back in Effect. One of my favorite songs of the album. Um, second single. Love the video for that shit. Um, you just see them in the, in, the, um, in the subway, you know, just walking through terrorizing everybody in the train and you so you see them walking through brownsville like dumont avenue and straw street and all yo i fucking love that so i love that shit back when you know brooklyn was brooklyn you know what i mean now it's like all gentrified and shit but um i like the line by dre when he says you hypocrite i've been ripping it because i'm fly you're phony full of bononi oscar meyer love that school when he says I bust heads like Amy Fisher. It's a piss. It's a pisser. <clears throat> it's a pisser. Hit you like an accident, and in your town, you might peep me at the um, Radisson or splattering, battering crews for lip chattering. It ain't nothing new. That's how we do. My crew is back, back again. Yeah, fucking dope shit right there. Um, really dope song. Yeah, and I love the video for that. So that was back in effect. Uh, track two, track ten, caught in the act. Um, dope song. Uh, to me, the sleeper song of the album, my personal opinion. Um, I remember when I first heard the song. Um, I really, I wasn't really too crazy about it until I heard the Primo remix, and that shit goes hard. But um, this was like more of a, a storytelling track, just pretty much saying. Um, basically, the song is like you know they trying they talk about you know trying to make ends meet. 
um, you know, they're struggling financially, even if it means to, like, do illegal shit, you know, rob niggas, kill niggas, sell drugs, and things like that, and, um, you know, they do it over a dark beat, it kind of has, like, a story feel to it, um, and I thought that was pretty cool, so, yeah, it's caught in the act, um, definitely a dope track, to me, the sleepiest track of the album, in my personal opinion, um, and then you got track 11, 1, 2, fucking love that, love the beat for that shit, one of my favorite tracks, Again, another joint that Dre caught a body on when he said, um, just because they think they be like bleeping out my curly, who's the next jerk to test an expert? You might regret it. I fry you to the friend. I fry you to a friend fr- fr- fricassee because if you see me, baby, be like Curtin. I put the hurts in on the body when I spark it. I'm super like the market. <laughs> when I bring my niggas cocking. Yeah, I love that. That shit is dope. I love the beat for that shit. That shit is so dope. Uh, track 12, Crazy with the Bucks. Wasn't too crazy about that. Mm. So no, it's an right track. I wasn't too fond of it. Um, Track 10, oh, excuse me, track 13, it's like that. Uh, it's another dope track right there. Um, I like the line by Dre when he says, It's the maniac, Larry or Brainiac, so back the freak up. If niggas got some beef, then good grief, be, um, then good grief, boy. They better stick, they better speak up. Love that. So dope. And then track 14, Host with the Most, uh, the Rappers remix. Wasn't too crazy about that. Wasn't really too fond of that. Overall, dope album. I know a lot of people... Don't really like this album like that. There's mixed reviews about this album. I really enjoyed the album. I honestly think it's because of the production. Um, I could see why, you know, some people might not like the production, but I think the production is dope. It's like really dark, it's gritty, it's street, it's really dope. Um, it was dope to see, you know, them, you know, solid scheme come with a different sound, you know what I mean? Like I wouldn't want like another like, you know, that serious like production wise, that series is what that series was, so it's pretty cool. Let me change the. Um, it, it's pretty cool to hear them over like different style of beats and like I said, um, you know, Solid Scheme did all the production, you know that kind of thing. So, but yeah, um, pretty dope album, super underrated in my opinion. Um, I know Dre said this is like his least favorite Dos Effects album. Um. I don't know. I, I have to disagree. I think um, it's actually my second favorite Dance Effects album. And um, yeah, it's a pretty good album. And I really enjoyed that, man. Um, to me, my favorite tracks would have to be Underground Rapper, Check It Out, Back in Effect, and One Two. Those are the those are the songs that I really fuck with the most. Um, but yeah, really solid album. Really dope. Um, it is out of print. Um, but if you can find it, definitely pick it up, all right? So, Dots Effect, Straight Up Suicide, released in 1993. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys like the album, you don't like the album, let me know. Let a brother know, all right? Y'all be easy. Definitely stay tuned for more. And yes, I am doing Hold It Down, and I'm going to do um, Generation Effects. I need to get their uh, third album uh, from um, 2003, uh, How We Do. But that shit goes for a little bit of money, so you know, eventually I will get it, but I don't know when. But um, I probably would have to get it soon, just cause to you know complete the Dots Effects um discography reviews and things like that. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. All right, y'all be easy. Peace.